Okay, so I'm going to start by taking a little bit of the sample that I'm going to be testing here, it's methanol, and adding about one centimeter of the sample to the boiling tube. Uh, you can see here, I'm going to check and, and make sure that, it's, that the sample is about one centimeter deep in the tube. So, add the sample until it's about one centimeter deep. Okay, the next step is to take a small section of capillary tubing that has been sealed on one end, it's open on the other end, and I'm going to insert it open and down into the boiling tube. If it sticks to the side, just tap the tube on the counter to You want that capillary tube to go all the way down so that it's resting on the bottom. The open end is resting on the bottom of your boiling tube. Okay, so here's the assembled apparatus. I've got a large test tube about half to two-thirds full of water, and I've put my, my boiling tube with the capillary tube um, and a thermometer through a stopper that has a hole drilled in it. Notice the bulb of the thermometer is about even with the sample inside the boiling tube. So I'm going to insert that whole assembly into the large test tube um, in the water. I'm going to turn my gas on and start my Bunsen burner. Okay, and I'm going to heat it carefully. So notice I'm holding the bunce, bottom of the Bunsen burner, the base of the Bunsen burner, and I'm gently heating the water in the large test tube. I'm going to heat the water until I see a rapid stream of bubbles coming out of the bottom of the capillary tube. A rapid stream of bubbles coming out of the bottom of the capillary tube is what I'm looking for can't see it very well on this video, unfortunately. Okay, did you see that bubble? There was one. Okay, I'm going to give it a little more heat. I don't have many bubbles coming out. Check the temperature. This is not a lab where we want to heat vigorously. We want to uh, just heat gently and let the temperature come up slowly inside the, the large test tube. Just a few a slow bubbling here coming out of that inner tube. If you can see the little bubbles moving there, just look just to the left of the red bulb of the thermometer and you'll see small bubbles. Those are forming out of the bottom of the inverted capillary tube inside of the boiling tube. And the rate of bubble formation is speeding up. Okay, and there's a fairly rapid stream there, so I'm going to stop heating at this point. See that stream of bubbles coming out of the small capillary tube? Go ahead and shut my gas off. Now my job is just to wait until those bubbles slow down. You have to be patient here, just wait as the as the it cools off. What happens here is is we go beyond the boiling point. We go past the boiling point and we wait until it returns until the, the temperature drops back down to the boiling point. So we heat it above the boiling point and let it cool off back down to the boiling point. And we'll talk about why we do that in class. So I'm just waiting patiently for the bubbles to slow down. You can see the, the rate of bubble formation has slowed down a little bit, just to the left of the red thermometer bulb. And when the last bubble comes out at the end of that capillary tube, that's when I record the temperature. That's the boiling point. And it looks like that has occurred. So we're going to just... And you'll notice also that at the same time the last bubble comes out of the small capillary, 
the sample liquid gets drawn up into the capillary